I'm going to show you how to do this invisibility effect. It does look a little complicated, but it's actually super easy and can be used in almost every type of edit. Now, something I do want to mention is you do need two videos to make this effect work, a clean plate and one with your main subject in the same spot. If you've shot these two clips the same way, this should be pretty easy and seamless. Before I go any further, I have gotten these clips from a creative mastermind really named Pavel or Pajalu JPEG on Instagram. He makes incredible edits and we are honestly all blessed enough that he has shared his clips for learning purposes because that is how I am able to then teach you guys these sorts of effects. I've linked his Instagram and Patreon below, well worth the money if you want to level up your editing, and it's really all thanks to him that I am able to teach you guys these effects, so shout out to him. When we start this effect, we want to kick it off with a nice easy roto brush on your main subject. What we're trying to do here is separate the main subject from the background from your clean plate. Click on your subject, go up to the roto brush and do a quick roto brush of our main subject. After we've roto brushed our main subject, the settings I like to use are turning my feather somewhere between 20 and 40, changing the contrast all the way down to zero, and then shifting the edges all the way up to 100%. This usually gives a nice blurred feather around the outside that's kind of really hard to tell is there, and it just helps everything blend together really seamlessly. After the roto brush, you want to add chromatic displacement. The effects on the chromatic displacement are really up to choice. The only thing you have to know about is the displacement amount. Turning this up to 150 or anywhere for that matter where you want is what's going to give you the invisibility kind of blur effect. So I found 150 is a nice medium. After this, you have to blend it to the clean plate. We're actually going to add an effect called Blend, which I'm pretty sure is built into After Effects. Drag this blend layer up to the top of everything, blend with the clean plate, and as you lower this amount, it becomes an invisibility effect. You can still see the slight aberrations across the character, but now he is invisible. To make him come back into view, keyframe the Blend with Original and the Displacement amount, back up to 100% and the displacement amount to zero, just so that his body comes back to normal. It's a super easy way to add a fun effect into your edit. So if you've made it this far to the end, thank you for watching.